Hi, it's me, JD, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we will be celebrating Dear Old Dad. I've got four different card ideas to show you, and they're all super easy, but pack a powerful punch. But be sure to hit the subscribe button first, and then we'll jump right into the first card. I saw this stamp set while perusing my Instagram account. By the way, shameless plug, my Instagram account is at it's me, JD blog. And I thought, man, that is such a realistic stamp set that I had to have it. And so um, I bought the stamp set. I bought the coordinating dye uh, inks in the for the stamp set um, to create this motorcycle. And with the help of a Misty, it took no time to complete. And it looks really lifelike. Like it's a good time to be a stamper because these layering stamp sets are just getting more and more realistic. Anyway, so I stamped the last layer, and this looks cool enough on its own, but I thought adding some glossy accents to where, like, the shiny parts are on a motorcycle are would make it even cooler. So while I set that aside to dry, I'm going to start on some ink blending, and I'm going to use some Distress Oxides and some Bristol Smooth Paper to make a really quick sunset. Distress Oxide inks will give you a really creamy blend as well as some inky fingers. Anyway, so now that my motorcycle is dry and look how phenomenal that looks, I'm going to uh, build my scene. I'm going to use some scrap gray cardstock to build a little road and then I'm going to attach it to my background and then I'm going to pop up my motorcycle with some foam tape and then adhere that as well. And I'm looking at my background and it doesn't look like a road yet. And I wanted to add some, um, what do you call those yellow lines in the middle of a road? Do you just call them yellow lines? Anyway, the yellow lines in the middle of the road to make it seem like more of a road. And so I got out um, a really opaque paint marker and I'm adding in those uh, yellow lines that way. After that's dry, I'll just stamp a coordinating sentiment from the same stamp set and this card is done. The next card features a fun way to include a gift card with your card. So first I'm going to create my background using this plaid uh, stamp, covering it with nice black pigment ink. And fun fact, apparently I'm a fancy stamper because I like to stamp with my pinky up. Once I've got good even coverage on my stamp, I'm going to swing the door over and stamp it on my cardstock and really press it down because this is a new stamp. and. It's bound not to have full coverage the first time around, but I'm trying to get it as best I can. So it actually picked up my cardstock, so I'm going to massage it over on that side to see if I get good coverage that way as well, which I do. Um, just a little boo-boo there. I'm going to make two of these um, because one will be the background of my shirt and the other one will be the pocket for, of my shirt. Next, I'm going to stamp my sentiment. Uh, my sentiment is the word dad as well as a sub sentiment. I'm going to stamp it in Versamark ink and then um, put some white heat embossing powder over it and then heat it with my heat tool. And I'm not being too careful because I'm going to fussy cut out the letters anyway because I don't have the die. I'm just going to trim off of my sub sentiment and then get to fussy cutting the letters DAD, D-A-D. Then once that is all cut out, I'm going to um, make the pocket of my shirt. I'm going to use my T ruler and just kind of eyeball a kind of like pentagon-y shape design. <laughs> um, I don't have a die for uh, a pocket, so I'm going to improvise by using a T ruler and a pencil. It's really easy. I just uh, you know marked it out where I wanted my what they wanted the shape to be, and then I made sure a gift card would fit in there because I wanted um, it to be that size. And then once I have that all cut out, I'm going to uh, attach my sub sentiment and the word dad with some foam tape. I'm gonna put the A down first to make sure everything else is, cent is centered on there. And then once that's done, I'm going to flip it over and attach foam tape to the, um, the sides and the bottom of the pocket. That way the gift card, uh, can, you can put a gift card in and it won't fall out of the bottom. Then I will attach the whole pocket piece to my card base. And this is where I hold my breath because I do not want to start again. <laughs> and it looks pretty centered. So um, this card is done and it has a fun gift card element to it.
The next card is a fun card that your kids can actually help make. I'm going to start off with some watercolor paper for my background and then I'm using some scrap paper to um, cut out little fishes. And so I'm going to DIY these little fishes. I'm just going to fold uh, my scrap paper in half, then draw like an oval shape and then half a triangle shape. And then I'll use my scissors to just uh, fussy cut those out to form up my little fish. I will repeat this process for my second fish, except this time I'm making a little bit bigger fish because I thought, oh, it'd be cute for, you know, a father fish and a son fish or a daughter fish um, uh, swimming in the water. And so for the eyes, I'm just going to mark out where the eyes are. I'm going to use a hole punch for the big fish's eyes. And then I'm going to use my little, like, poker tool for um, the the little fish's eyes and then I thought oh wouldn't it be cute if they're you know they're both like getting caught you know like in the fish in the ocean like by fishermen and I thought wait a minute that's kind of morbid <laughs> yeah this card just took a really dark turn like what happens when a fish gets caught like it's not a happy ending especially for a father fish and it's child fish like happy father's day <laughs> we're gonna be someone else's dinner cool thanks son after stamping my sentiment and regrouping here, I had to figure out a solution to my awkward scenario of father-son murder. So I decided to make more fish. So it's like a group of fish are swimming and not getting caught and not getting eaten. So um, I folded all my little fish in half and I, and I just added adhesive to one half of it. So they'd all stick out for a little more dimension to make this card a little more happy, you know, and not so dark and scary and creepy. I'm going to stamp some more fish on there, you know, some more happy, alive fish. And then I, and I will add some coordinating jewel drops. And this card is officially a happy Father's Day card. For my next card, I'm going to do a card that's one layer and doesn't have a theme so I don't offend any animal lovers out there. First, I'm going to start by stamping uh, the top half of my sentiments in a green color. And then once I get all the green ink cleaned off there, I'm going to stamp the bottom half of my sentiment in a blue color. And this is where having a stamp positioner really comes in handy. Um, the Misty as well as the Tim Holtz stamp positioner are definitely two of my favorites. So they're definitely JD recommended. These tools make it really easy to do your um, own DIY ombre inking like I did here. So the green and the blue kind of made this different like teal shade which is really pretty. Now I'm going to mask that uh, portion that I stamped off and do some ink blending on the top and the bottom of this card. And so I will do the ink blending in the same colors, the green on top and the blue on the bottom. I'm not going to be too careful about it because I'm going to um, cover it with a stencil later and so just really quickly applying uh, laying down ink to this background then I will place a stencil over top and go over my inked areas with the same color but just over this pencil or uh, pencil stencil and with a much heavier hand so the colors really come through the background would have been fine on its own but the stencil just really adds that something extra to this card and as you can see, my post-it was a little uh, see-through, so that's why I was able to um, center it correctly over my sentiment. Okay, let's recap. We have this cool motorcycle card for dads who either have a motorcycle or who want a motorcycle, but can only dream of having one for now. You know who you are. And then next we have this awesome gift card holder uh, Father's Day card. And you can make this in any background and any pattern to really match the personality of your dad. And then we have this uh, happy Father's Day card, which features happy fish, swimming fish, fish that are alive. Yes. <laughs> um, and your kids can definitely have fun making this one too. Finally, we have this one layer card for dad. And this card doesn't need a theme because your dad doesn't need a theme because he's the best dad ever. All right, that does it for me. Uh, let me know what's your favorite memory of your dad down in the comments. And I want to wish you guys a happy Father's Day.